Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations given that f of x root x equals x squared plus 2x and what is f of root x? The first thing we are going to note in this functional question is let's try and understand the domain of these functions. So there is a root which means not all the numbers will satisfy this and here as well we have to find f of root x. So if you consider the solution from here, we are going to see that from the question we have f of x root x equals x squared plus 2x. The x here, they are member of real number. So which means we are dealing with real space, not the complex space. And understanding this kind of number we are dealing with, it shows that every single x, they are not equals negative value so that is all the values of x they are greater than or equals zero yeah actually we can get zero here but anything like negative we cannot get negative because of this root as we divide x based on the real number so let's get into finding f of root x before we find f of root x we have to know what is f of x first so to do that we are going to consider from this domain as x multiply by root x so let's try and rewrite this thing first so if you have x root x if you have x root x we are going to write this as x multiplied by root x is given as x raised to the power 1 over 2 and also we have this as x to the power of 1 so by applying the rule of indices so we have this as x raised to the power of 3 divided by 2 so multiplication changed to the additions because we have the same base, then we add the powers together. So therefore, the function becomes f of x raised to power 3 divided by 2 equals x raised to power 2 plus, plus 2x. Then we are going to let t equals x raised to power of 3 divided by 2. And Having t equals x raised to the power 3 over 2, we are going to know the value of x here as uh, the x will be equals t raised to the power of 2 over 3. How did I get this? So we raise this both sides of this by the power of 2 and also we also raise it to the power of 1 divided by 3. So we get x equals t raised to the power 2 divided by 3. Then we are going to substitute back as instead of f of x raised to the power 3 over 2, we change it to f of t. Then equals instead of x here, we change it to t raised to the power 2 over 3. Then all raised to the power of 2 plus 2 t raised to the power of 2 divided by 3. So this is what we are going to have. Then after having this, we have to simplify as f of t equals a is t raised to power by rule of exponent. So 2 we multiply 2. We have it as 4 divided by 3. Then plus 2t raised to power of 2 divided by 3. So this is what we have. And let's change every single t to x. So by changing t to x, we have f of x equals x raised to power of 4 over 3 plus 2x raised to the power of 2 over 3. So this is the answer to only f of x. And let's see how we can get f of root x. This is f of x. Then we need to get f of root x. So by just switching x to root x. So here we have f of root x equals here we change it to root x, but all raised to the power of 4 divided by 3 plus 2 into bracket of root x, then all raised to the power 2 over 3. So this is what we have. Then here we have root x. So root x is the same thing as x raised to the power 1 over 2. Then all raised to the power of 4 over 3 plus 2 into bracket of x raised to power 1 over 2 all raised to power 2 over 3 and 
by multiplying this together or 2 here that is 1 and 2 and 4 that gives us 2 so 2 also cancel 2 from this side as we have x raised to power when 2 cancelled uh, when 2 go in 4 we have 2 and a is 1 as well 1 times 2 that is 2 over 3 plus 2 into bracket of x raised to power of here remains 1 divided by 3 so this is the result of f of root x equals but this x raised to power of 2 over 3 so it can also be written as the cube root of x then all raised to the power of 2 plus a is also 2 uh, bracket the cube root of x all raised to the power of 1 so this is what we get for f of x f of root x rather but can we know the domain of this function yes it's very simple to know the domain of these functions so since this one is root x so this is root x so which shows that we are going to restrict this as not all the values of real number satisfy this so how do we know that this is negative it is only when x greater than or equals to zero satisfy this function so likewise if you look at the first main function which is f of x root x as well so which equals the cube root of x uh, x is to power of 2 plus 2x so this also follows this it is only when we have f of x that we firstly got as f of x equals uh, x raised to the power of 4 over 3 plus 2x raised to the power 2 over 3. So with this one only, we can see that every single x that we plug in here, x is a member of all the real number. Every possible real number that we plug in here will satisfy this, including positive and uh, negative. For instance, if I substitute this as x equals 1, for instance, so we are going to have f of 1 equals 1 raised to the power 4 over 3 plus 2 into bracket of 1 raised to the power 2 over 3. So by this, we see that all the results here equals 3. So if you plug in f of 1, so we are going to have 3. And if you still try and uh, substitute negative as well, suppose we have negative 1. So we have f of minus 1 equals minus 1 raised to the power of 4 over 3 plus 2 into bracket of minus 1 raised to power 2 divided by 3. So when we try and check for this as well, so we are going to get a result that is not complex. So this is how to solve this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.